city's good to tell you the tale Everyone was left in the veil My time won't come to an end Take a look around, it's a war zone The damage is already done Take a look around, it's a war zone The damage is already done Take a look around And keep your guns high It's a war zone Hello everybody, what is going on? Welcome to the channel. This time I'm riding the Pauline for 50 for the second time. Uh, I'll measure acceleration, we'll talk about brakes. Uh, as I ride in this community, I will tell you right away guys that this bike is really maneuverable for what it is. And bottom and torque of this bike is incredible. As a downfall, I will tell you that middle torque would not be as great. And these super fat tires, even though they do not make this bike uh, much less maneuverable but once you run over a bump a uh, bike might behave a little bit unpredictably which is not very good for a beginner I would say with that being said I feel like this might be one of the best looking motorcycles from the class uh, the engine looks and sounds absolutely incredible my favorite part about this Benda is this throttle it's super responsive it's more responsive than the competition. By competition, I imply CLC 450, CU 525 from Vogue. Uh, those two bikes, they will be a little bit faster in terms of 0 to 100 km per hour acceleration. But feelings wise, bottom and torque on this machine is really good. And if you ride like I do right now, you still feel very fast. It's alright, but definitely not the fastest motorcycle from the displacement. You know, when I was riding this bike for the first time, I was riding in the parking lot, and I'll tell you, uh, when you ride it slowly, the throttle is a little bit jerky, and it feels really fast. But then, once you crack it open widely, I don't know, it doesn't feel that fast. Alright, one more time, ready? the brakes there's nobody from behind uh, we have two piston caliper from the front and I'll tell you that the brakes aren't sharp as I like to say one can argue that sharp brakes might not be the best option for a beginner but given that this bike is quite heavy for, the, for what it is I would like to see four piston caliper brakes all right ABS can engage a little however to my knowledge if you want you can turn it off which is pretty fun over here we have two buttons traction control and ABS so this machine has pretty much everything you need in terms of electronics we have a slipper clutch uh, this clutch I would say is pretty soft yet as I ride for let's say more than 30 minutes somehow uh, my left hand gets a little bit tired 
and I don't really know why because the clutch as I've said is pretty soft <laughs> we have 45 duty meters of torque and uh, this bike pulls the torque is really decent especially bottom end torque middle torque would not be great and I feel like this is the biggest downfall of this motorcycle mid torque fades away once you are like at 5,000 rpm and uh, once you go a little bit faster yeah it's a little bit less torquey however in a city and for a city this bottom and torque would be absolutely amazing and uh, this soundtrack of this v2 wing guys will never let you down as i ride in the city in this casual manner i'll tell you that the gearbox is really nice uh you see i can do those clutchless shifting like nothing it's pretty easy as well and the gearbox on Benda is surprisingly good one honorable mention is that I really like the way I sit on the bike uh, I am way more leaned over compared to other motorcycles from the class and it gives me more control it feels as if my body is in this aggressive position I'm pretty close to the bars given that we're talking about a cruiser or a bobber and yeah I'm leaned over uh, I can swerve around really well and I feel very confident. This motorcycle is quite confidence inspiring, I would say. In conditions like that, this machine feels really good, very maneuverable. Speaking about maneuverability, I would tell you guys that this fat tire doesn't feel too bad. This is by far the best looking motorcycle from the class that you could come across. Uh, some people might like CLC 450, some people might like uh, Vogue 525, me personally, I still love those bikes a lot, but design-wise, I feel like this bike has no freaking competition whatsoever, because it's unique, it's outstanding, uh, it's really pleasant to look at, you know, it's quite a mesmerizing thing to observe. Design is absolutely stunning, sound is incredible, the best looking motorcycle from the class the best sounding motorcycle from the class it's pretty maneuverable it's pretty torquey it will not be the fastest but there are a few things I don't like the first thing I don't like is that from time to time I hear some knocking coming from the front part of the bike and it's really difficult to identify the problem this kickstand is really hard to find so I'm trying I don't know whether you can see it guys but uh, yeah, it's really hard. Speaking about other things which I don't like, I would mention that the dash is round and nice looking. However, once I turn my blinkers, these arrows, they're so freaking invisible, it's really hard to understand whether your blinker is on or off. Uh, it's a tiny thing, but I felt as if I had to tell you about that. I would mention brakes. We have two-piston caliper which comes from uh, from Benda and we have 320 millimeter single disc and honestly if there is an emergency on your way and you have to brake hard uh, these brakes don't feel too bitey they don't feel too sharp uh, given that we are riding this cruiser we need to pay attention to our rear brake as well and from behind we have 260 millimeter single disc with one single caliper again for 90 percent of people who ride this bike i feel like brake performance would be good enough but given that we have to compare this motorcycle to the competition to clc 450 to cu uh, 525 these brakes wouldn't be as sharp just because we have two piston caliper and on those bikes we have four piston caliper so the brakes is something i wish benda can improve upon uh, with that being said, this bike is really fun, we can stop pretty rapidly nonetheless. And one little thing I need to mention is that this bike is very low, so ground clearance is very low. And sometimes it's really easy to tip the bike over. Uh, probably this is the matter of a habit. Over time, once you get used to this bike, you will not uh, think as if this is the problem. But for me, for a person who rides a little bit taller motorcycles, uh, this problem of tipping over a bike might be pretty legit. Once we go fast, the bike feels quite stable, mm, but this is not the most stable motorcycle from the class. Just because of those tires, 
um, they are not the best tires in terms of performance that's for sure so under 100 kilometers per hour this bike feels very good uh, over 100 kilometers per hour um, I just don't feel as confident but again it's pretty good anyway and this is a cruiser for a city not for highways and speaking about the suspension the suspension is not adjustable obviously and it's not too soft on the spectrum it will be quite stiff however uh, once I ride in conditions like that this suspension feels pretty nice but again once you run over some manholes or little bumps the suspension over time might feel a little bit too stiff and your wrists your arms your joints in general might not feel so good <laughs> yeah it's still fun even though acceleration isn't impressive once you check the footage but guys i'll tell you this torque is pretty fun you can feel the torque you know some motorcycles they're fast um, but they don't feel too fun this bike is different this bike isn't fast however it's plenty of fun <laughs> as i'm waiting for the green light i like to rev up the engine and guys this throttle is so responsive and uh, given that we have this beautiful v-twin which sounds amazing this really responsive throttle gives you so much joy i feel like this is my favorite part about this bike it's really pleasant to ride and this bottom end torque with this throttle with this super responsive throttle gives you this unique feeling as if you ride something aggressive and fun and this bike is indeed very fun this is not the fastest motorcycle but it's super fun to ride and again as i turn on this machine i feel incredible this ergonomics is very inviting in terms of turning so you want to swerve around you want to turn in this motorcycle make u-turns it's really pleasant <laughs> you look at that guys look at that <laughs> this might be my favorite part about this benda just to swerve around it's so pleasant given that i'm sitting so close to those handlebars and again handling on this benda is superb um, it's way better than you would expect from a motorcycle like that uh, so far i have ridden four or five bendas and if i'm being honest with you i will tell you that so far this might be my favorite benda uh, it's not too heavy it's maneuverable it's quite torquey it wouldn't be the fastest benda of course but it might be one of the most fun bendas to ride so far and look wise it has no competition um, many people they ask me about reliability and in my other videos i've mentioned that some people are truly concerned about that and uh, honestly guys i do hear some knocking coming from the front part of the bike it's really hard to say which part exactly has this knocking however the knocking is there and uh, once you are riding slowly uh, you can hear some other additional sounds and noise coming from different parts honestly i feel like if you would just spend a day in order to identify the problem and you'll find a good mechanic uh, you can actually work on it and you can get rid of those sounds you can get rid of this noise but given that we have only 4,000 kilometers on the clock uh, it's not very nice to see a problem like that My city's gonna tell you the tale Everyone was left in the veil My time won't come to an end Take I had a lot of fun riding this bike. Please let me know what you think about Benda for 50 Napoleon. Would you buy this bike over Vogue and CLC? Again, this bike is not the fastest, but it looks absolutely incredible. It sounds great. Reliability might be an issue. However, so far, it just like minor noises and sounds come from different parts. But as you ride, you feel pretty confident. Yeah, guys, this was my humble opinion and review of this Benda for 50. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and as always, I see you in my next videos. Bye-bye, everybody. Stay safe.